Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Megan from Grace Lutheran in San Francisco, and you can check out some of our faithful ways that you can live in this world, in this new world that we live in at virtualgrace.org. Today, we're gonna share with you some ways that you can have sacred practices at home from this book, A Stone's Throw, Living the Act of Faith. Social Transformation Through Faith and Spiritual Practice by Claudia Horwitz. Uh, we'll go through them in order so that you can experience some of them. If you want to learn more about each step, I recommend that you get this book. They have activities to do by yourself or in a group. Uh, we'll demonstrate some of them here. And if there are activities that involve going outside, we will have modified them. Today we're going to learn how to pray. Pray according to who you are. If you are an extrovert, pray in an extroverted way. If you are quiet, pray quietly. Pray to God, pray to Allah, pray to the one. Pray to the only, pray to your ancestors. It's all received, it's all acted on. Pray with acceptance and gratitude. Pray for the ability to show it. Pray for love, pray for the people you want to know better. Pray on a bike, pray in the bathtub, pray in silence, pray in song. Dr. Larry Dosey. Today's activity that we are going to demonstrate for you is called communal prayer or a prayer circle. You begin with a few minutes of silence so everyone can center themselves. Then have everyone introduce themselves. I'm Michaela Henry. I'm Chaplain Megan. My name's Dominique. If anyone brought a prayer that is significant to them, invite them to share it. God of everlasting patience and love, we yearn to love boldly and forgive more boldly still. But love is hard, and forgiveness is even harder. Help us love people more than they deserve for longer than they deserve. Help us to receive love more than we deserve for longer than we deserve. Help our love to be healthy, safe, sane, consensual, and spiritual. Help us to love through our listening and always follow up with our action. Help us to forgive ourselves, our family, our friends, our neighbors, and any others we are able. Help us to receive forgiveness trust that it is real, to shed some baggage, and to make amends when needed or appropriate. Help us refrain from revenge or using the tools of our oppressors on others. Remind us again and again that your forgiveness undid our sins before we could even complete them. It comes without asking or acting, it is complete, and we cannot screw it up. A thousand thank you. Open up a space for people to share their joys and concerns. I pray for everything. And I pray for my family. I pray for my family, um, healthcare workers, police people, and and the world. Um, people who deliver groceries and mail. Things that give me joy. My kids, my family, music, art, Scuba diving. The flowers that are gonna bloom and um, that it's almost summer. Yeah. What are your concerns? How we get the coronavirus. Close with a song or reading. Let's pray. 
Thank you for the breath in my lungs, the marrow in my bones, the love in my heart, the courage in my gut, and the joy in my toes. Thank you for absolving my past, affirming all that I am, and guiding me to what I will become. Help me to celebrate every precious moment I have in this marvelously spectacular world. Amen. 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 You did it. You prayed. Hooray. Just know that um, if you are someone who has wanted to incorporate prayer into your life, there's no wrong way to do it. There's a million books about prayer that you can pick up or you can uh, simply start like, journaling your thoughts. Whatever way you do it, I'm so proud of you for trying something new. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. Bye.